now this is working. That's right. Let's see if I can hear my own game sound here. game sound up here a little bit. Yep. Hey. What's the big idea? I'm trying to figure out audio things here. Game sound? Game sound? Hello? Game sound? Yeah. Alright. There's some game sound. Turn that down on my end. Audio quality here for a sec. All right. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Trying out a new camera setup here. Hmm. Okay. Where did I leave off? Truces with Ottomans, England, France, Tunis. Is that an ally? Oh, I am out now. Okay. I don't know why I have a truce with France. I'm also allies with them. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I was going to do war against Moscovy, maybe? Um, given, well, it's really not that distant of a war for Hungary. I don't, I don't, I don't really quite get that. I think I would still... Oh my god, yeah, wait, their, how is their army so bad? I, th I think their force limit is higher, but not... Oh wow, no, their force limit is 92. Oh, okay, never mind. I mean, I still have all these, got all my different... I have, like, how many vassals do I have right now? I have seven vassals. Hopefully one of which I am annexing. Maybe not. Lubeck. Oh yeah, no, I'm trying to annex the Isles because they're not really doing anything over here uh so yeah i'm gonna wait for that and then yeah i mean muscovy is not an easy target but a target certainly um money is all right money has been a little bit of a struggle in this game but this guy will make up for himself It'll be a march from Scotland. Actually, yeah, you know what? Yes. I almost never make people marches, but this, yes, because I need, I want them to have a larger army to support me against England. Next states. I think I sort of, I, th I stopped right after a big war last time. I don't remember what that big war was, but... God. Oh yeah, maybe I. Oh no, I an... oh, oh no, I I stopped right after I annexed the Teutonic Order, so I hadn't actually done anything. Hungary, Queen Anna Hunyadi. Could I know? We are of the same ruling family. Um, where are my troops? Forty-one thousand and seven thousand from the Teutons. All here together. And, yeah, I'm combining the Teutonic ships and my own ships. I'm not really going to need the navy for a while, because if I go to war with Muscovy, I'm not going to be, it's not going to be a naval war in any capacity. So the thing is, 
So, um, I have an overwhelming majority against Muscovy right now, but they are, their force limit is like adds an extra sixty to what the troops that they have right now. So if they built up, then ooh, here becomes the question: Are we going to become Protestant or Catholic? I'm asking myself this in real life as well. Psych. Uh, Protestant or Catholic? I sort of like Catholic. I feel like I've, I don't. I don't remember if I've done a Catholic game recently. <clears throat> uh oh. Ooh, Ottomans. The, oh wait, Ottomans declared war in Poland, which means that I think <laughs> I think Denmark declares war on Poland because. Yeah, basically, I mean, like, one, it, uh, yeah, we have an, like, that Poland will be distracted, so this will be an easy time to declare war on them. Two, uh, I really do not want the Ottomans to just, like, completely eat Poland, and the more more score I can get against them, the better. This is my territory, yeah. Oh no, the Polish, oh, they don't have any, I don't really need the, the fleet for uh, this war. It's really actually not gonna do anything. Okay, I'm just gonna make them off more then. Uh, okay, my, my, I think I'm over my force limit by a little bit, yeah. So that is all right. Call in Hungary and Bohemia, and we are just, everyone just, oh, I don't have a frickin' Casas Belli, oops. Well, thank God the game warns you about that. <clears throat> How do I not have a Casas, like, not even from, like, a mission or something? Hmm. Yeah, I guess not. At some point, I want to start doing colonialism. Uh, I don't know if now is the time. Okay, yeah, I'm super far ahead on Miltech, so I will take salvage our equipment. On any ideas? Uh, historically, Denmark and Poland ended up, I believe, on opposite sides of many wars. Maybe more Sweden and Poland, but I'm sure Denmark was involved there. So yeah, I'm not sure. Um, we are literally just waiting. I should have been doing. I should have done this years ago. But we are literally just waiting to get a Casas Belli. I mean, a uh, a claim on Poland, which will happen as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, this is actually this is perfect because now I have delayed enough time that I can annex the Isles, which is just to sort of get that out of the way. They're literally just a one tile, a one tile, one province uh, guy with no. Possibility for expansion. I mean, I could feed territory from England to them, but Scotland is a march, and Scotland's going to be my main weapon against the, the English and the Isles. I, I don't think that's... I'd rather just save the uh, diplomatic power per month. Really just sitting here. What my I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check my intelligence, see what my intelligence says about the relative army quality of Poland versus me, which is we're a little lower than they are, but I think they are not gonna have very many troops by the time they already don't have very many troops uh, by the time we declare war on them. I want this. I want a one guy, but morale of navies literally does nothing for me, so. I, what is this? Why can I not make you all combine? What the heck? Oh, because one of you is. And the Isles probably had some... What the heck is going on here, man? Troops. Yes, they had one. They had one, <laughs> they had one stack. That's pretty funny. Okay. Okay. 
I would love a diplomatic reputation plus one guy. Frickin' morale of navies again. Frick. Oh yeah, I need to promote the Freusian culture. Make sure that my, I'm actually in the camera here when I'm sort of leaning forward. Uh, okay. Jesus, 95% ahead of time. Oh, wow. I'm, what's going on with... Uh, okay. Oh, colonialism has spawned. Okay, I don't think it spawned right in 1500, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be great. Trade of, okay, I'll just... I'll, I don't want to keep firing guys and spending more money, so I'm just going to take the trade efficiency advisor, <clears throat> which is not ideal. Okay, we are well into being able to declare war on Poland. Uh, in Novroklov... Is Ino Vroklov the same as Vroklov, or is there a different Vroklov? Vroklov. I don't know. Let's, uh, I want to, I have so many vassals, I want to just have one guy, like, constantly improving relations with the vassals. And now, I could, oh man, no. So I could call Brandenburg into this, but, uh, no, because they're part of the empire. Genoa, Venice, no. Can't take any territory from Venice, so. <clears throat> uh, I can, I can take, I mean, I could like, Brandenburg's still gonna be in this war, so I could still take a little bit from them. And I'm just gonna make all of my vassals be on siege because we want to prevent the, uh, someone here. No, no one's sieging Warsaw. We want to prevent the Ottomans from getting as much territory as possible. And really, it's probably actually more efficient for me to carpet siege rather than... Um, siege forts right now, maybe, because I just, like, I want to take as much territory as possible. Although, all of my various vassals and allies will also uh, do some carpet sieging for me. Oh! Okay, everyone's getting a little frisky here. Yeah, they have a... The Polish still have a non-trivial amount of troops, particularly with their allies, who, uh, but are, Venice, presumably, yeah, all their allies are also in the war against the Ottomans, so this is, like, we're not under any threat, meaningful threat, uh, any extended capacity. Is that building ships? Why am I going so over my porcelain? Yeah, we have a lot more admin power than I know what to do with. And I'm at three stability already, so I can't exactly do very much with that. Oh, Poland. Okay, never mind. I thought there was a... Oh, uh, Bohemia finished the siege. Great. So, I guess this is it. I mean, now we literally just have to get the Polish um, allies out. So, check my audio. Oops. 
Brandenburg wants out. I don't actually think that I'm going to take that because I actually, I'm not, I'm going to be doing so little expanding in the empire that might as well just like take as much as I can when I'm at war with them without the emperor and because I'm going to get a lot of aggressive expansion, but then, you know, like I'm not going to be taking much else in the empire. So that aggressive expansion is not uh, necessarily going to take me particularly far. Like highest return on investment. And I tend to go for lucky numbers like seven or five or something. Good round numbers. Oh, my camera fell. <laughs> I'm zooming in on myself. Come on, baby. Pause the game while I'm doing this. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> My camera's resting on the some key that was bringing up the Holy Roman Empire thing. in very carefully because this tripod mount is quite sensitive whoa okay all right what are we doing england is back to being a great power unfortunately brandenburg no hmm Love to get one of my uh, my dynasty on one of the thrones of Bohemia or Hungary. So the question here is: Am I going to piece out everyone separately? I probably not. I mean, I'm gonna piece out Brandenburg separately, but otherwise, like, I have limited ability to get war score here, at least while the Ottomans are at war with Lithuania. And so I want to, like, get the war score from having Venice or other things occupied so I it counts as me having more war score against uh, Poland. Holstein, the culture is Danish. <laughs> culture conversion. I could do a Danish culture conversion. I don't think so. Lubeck. Do I have... What's my current trade power in this node? 43% wants me to get to 65 that's probably not gonna, I mean, it could, like, it could happen, but I don't really know what to do to get it there. <clears throat> I haven't done a culture conversion game in a long time, but it probably doesn't make sense to combine that with doing a uh, vassals game. So I guess, like, my only option is to do this thing. Oh, yeah, base tax, develop thin, which is actually fine because I have a major surplus of um, admin power, so that was fine. Basically free 10 prestige. I'm not going to enforce serfdom. Okay, so Scotland is not yet. Yeah, Scotland still is like, their army is much smaller than England's. They only have 9,000. I don't know what their force limit is. Their manpower is 21, so that's pretty high. Good Scotland. Army quality is low. Force limit is 13, so it's still pretty low. Brandenburg is... Yeah, okay. So we could... I could just take some territory from Brandenburg here. Um, is there any, any guys I can release here? Rupin, but literally they just have the province of Rupin. I can give Pomerania Sternberg because they have a claim. Uh, make it, they can't make it a quarter, okay. <clears throat> Motorcycles outside. Uh, well, I guess I could just 
But the thing is, I have so much surplus admin power, so I actually, it doesn't, like, it probably just makes more sense to take provinces for myself rather than... Okay, this is substantial coalition. It's conceivable that I should actually avoid bordering Bohemia so they don't, I don't piss them off. Also, Berlin is just a huge amount of war score. Seems like a bad idea. The thing about Brandenburg territory is if I take too much of that, still like gonna get me a lot of war score and I mean uh, uh, aggressive expansion and then I won't be able to take too much if any Polish territory so it'd probably be wise to be careful here Are there any states that I could round out now oh yeah actually yes this is not what I'm going to take. <clears throat> Those two provinces are cheaper, and they also fill out states that I already own. And they get me less aggressive expansion, so... That I will do. Oops, although this is just like... how Again, I, oh, okay, well... I don't really understand how I can core this, because... Well, I guess you could have, you could have claims bordering claims because of this uh, Age of Discovery bonus. Where is it? But, where is it? But can I, like, how do I core this? Because I don't, it's not within range of any of my cores. It's next to my vassal, Lubeck, but I don't know. Okay, here's a half price. Diplomat, which is good because I need diplomatic power a lot more than I need um, admin power. Military, I'm also quite far ahead on, so I'm going to do the land maintenance modifier minus 5, which also gets me to royal mercenaries, Danish idea, shock damage plus 10%, which is quite good, mercenary discipline plus 5%, which is meaningless to me because I almost, almost meaningless because I almost never use mercenaries. Oh, uh, oh no, I thought, I thought the Ottomans had made peace. <clears throat> okay, well, the Ottomans are going to take a lot here, but I have blocked them from something. Ooh, well, a lot of Polish up in my territory here. I guess, I mean, to be honest, I guess they're really, I might as well just make peace with Venice and all these guys because, I also, can I pillage their capital? Can. What does that give me? One one zero. I never know. I, I never particularly like pillaging their capital because I always just assume that like other people's capitals are my de jure territory anyway. So like, why would I want to pillage that? But it is a good way to get territory for. F I mean, uh, uh, development for free. Although it just it like arbitrarily brings up my aggressive expansion without actually doing very much for me. So. I don't think I'm going to do that. I could have them transfer a trade or something. Could force them to steer trade to Denmark, but like they have an end node, so. I guess that's it. Yeah, Venice does not have much to offer me. Oh, they're, oh yeah. And uh, Genoa is also running low. They have, I have, they have the Ottomans entirely occupied them, so it doesn't do me. Doesn't do anything for me. However, I can dispense with the Polish army up here, which probably going to be good. I was I totally was not uh, paying attention to them sieging uh, Stockholm. Um, 
Yes, Val Rossen, but uh, we could make it that. No, I was actually, I think like last night when I was, like as I was falling asleep or something, I was thinking about Lingus Nation. That was kind of fun. Like, honestly, it wasn't just like fun for the memes. Like, it was sort of a fun, unusual kind of game to try to manage. I don't even know. I mean, I haven't tried to make a custom nation in so long that I have no idea if, you know, you'd still be allowed to do something like that. Because I feel like they do adjust the parameters of Protestantism entrenched of uh, custom nations sometimes. The pluralistic government of Frederick I. Royal Council, government reform. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is good. Institution embracement costs down, institution spread up, diplomatic technology costs minus 10. Yeah, that's perfect because we are super behind on diplomatic technology. Scandinavia is a is its own sort of strange little lingus up there. Oh, the Ottomans made peace with Poland. Uh, okay. They took quite a bit, like this over here, but they didn't take a huge amount, which is my my call to take as much as is possible, because actually, you know what, I, I, could, I could just extend a lingus down through Poland and then take all their border provinces with the Ottomans, so the Ottomans can't uh, take any more Polish territory. I have done that before. I mean, that's, you know, border gore par excellence, but still... Hedalstav at church. Really doesn't do that much. Province modifier plus minus one local unrest. Stability cost modifier minus 2.5%. That's a thousand ducats. I mean, if I guess you get that early in the game, that has some returns, but seems pretty low. Oops, army reformer dead. Long live the army reformer. Uh, okay, I don't have any guys here who are particularly strong. Uh, I'm just going to go with fort <coughs> defense just for the heck of it. Okay, let's look at Poland. So the cheapest way for... The quickest way for me to do what I'm talking about here is like... A little one of these. You know, a little one of these guys. That blocks all of Poland. Unfortunately, it leaves Lithuania wide open. Lithuania, the problem is that Lithuania is sort of indefensible because of, they have Muscovy on their side as well. So, like, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to stop Lithuania from being taken, but uh, I can take, I can stop the Ottomans from expanding into Poland. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Like, you know, that's pretty weird from a kind of border standpoint. And it gets me into a Gets me a number of people in a coalition against me, but not a huge amount. And one of those is Poland, with whom I will have a truce for a while anyway. Hungary and Bohemia. Just need one guy to die, although not when we're at war, because that would be inconvenient. Okay, the papacy thing. Yeah, I'd love to start making videos again, and I... I'm on an extended leave of absence from work for a health thing, so I feel like all of my creativity has, like, my creative impulses have come back to me. I don't know exactly what I would do, but here we are. Okay, the spy in Poland is no longer doing anything because I have already sieged all their forts. Lithuania, not so much, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to put this in... I don't really know, to be honest. Outrage countries? Might as well. Yeah, because I'm I'm getting I'm sort of getting a little bit of a um coalition up on me. Cheap iron. I can actually oh yeah, I have a bunch. I have Visby City up here as well. Shipbuilding time, hostile disembark time. That's uh, global modifiers. Pri I, I've, I'm not sure that I've ever used privateers in my entire time playing this game. That's just a, like one of the many things about trade that I just do not understand at all. Malbork, I do like. I've talked about this before, but I have a picture, sort of like like stylized-ish picture of Malbork in my room, my childhood room in my mom's house that I, I got a couple years ago. But. <clears throat> Yeah, I should put a castle in Malbork just for the heck of it. 
that is a pretty good that's a, that's like a slightly better particularly like early game i think that's a good investment it's gonna be like garrison size and more defensiveness and some extra legitimacy every year okay so this war is over oops <clears throat> I am okay. blocking the Ottomans from taking any more Polish territory. This is just a total disaster. Although I already have some border gore, so honestly, that's like not the end of the world. But yeah, am I gonna do this? This sort of is like this is this is the moment of like, am I role playing in this game or am I just doing the the steam roll thing? <clears throat> Actually, there's someone that I could release, Mazovia. Galicia, Volhynia. Can I get Poland to transfer to give me Lithuania? See, I don't understand why not, because I have transfer subject peace treaty at half cost. Oh, Danish Castle. No, it's just too high. Never mind. Okay. 198. That would be nice. Mm, okay. Oh, man. I. Ay, 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 ay. Canta no llores. Da, da, da. I am. I think I'm not gonna do the border gore thing. I just, just kind of boring to be honest. Like, to the extent that I still enjoy this game, it's not just as the sort of snowballing min max thing. I do have to remember to give territory to Polotsk so that I can. Yeah. Okay. They have everything they need here. Oops. Oh, I have a. Oh, yeah, my ruler is of Valois now. Oh, shit, which means I'm not on this frickin'. Oh, no, never mind. I forgot. I was thinking I had my guys on the throne of Bohemia and Hungary, but I do not. I just have royal marriage with them. Okay, so my guy is a de Valois now, which is great because now I am in contention to cop some French territory, so to speak. Arch King. Okay, so I'm going to remember to do this before Muscovy takes any of the Polotskin territory. And I think that's all. What? Oh, yeah. All, yeah, okay, so that's all for Polotsk. Poland. What else am I taking? Well, at least I'll take these three. And this, I can't take Kalish and Poznan because they're not in. Why is this occupied by you, Polotsk? Denmark. <clears throat> What's the state here? Gardinas. Oops. They still take a lot of territory. Oops. I keep freaking selecting. Lithuania. <clears throat> okay, that's 92 as it is. Not going to get me a lot of war score, which is, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, aggressive contention. Again, oh, this is hungry. Okay. All right, I'm not going to take the stupid border gore. That's just... Uh, no. I could forego one of these things and do what now, but I don't... I was going to say I could do, like, uh, war taxes instead, but... No. Take some money. And... Thought all about it. Do it. Mm. 
Now I'm a valid rival for Poland. Yeah. A little too late, buddy. I want some thrones. I also... Oh yeah, okay, so my next idea group is uh, when I get the next admin technology and, and then I'm going to do exploration so I can start doing colonializing. Why are you here? Keep going. Again, my plan is to vassalize England at some point and then, then just sort of let them do the, <coughs> the expansion for me. The, uh, the colonialism for me, that is. Um, March from Polotsk? No. Nah, quite the opposite, in fact. I will be integrating them as quickly as possible. France wants me to come in against Utrecht and also the Emperor, question mark? Yeah. Oopsie. Ottomans have declared war on Mamluks. Am I not rivals of the Ottomans? I guess I'm not. No, I am. Why can't I not declare war on them? For a humiliate rival Costas Belli. What the heck? Oh, because they're not... Maybe... Do you only get that Costas Belli if you're borders with them? Now, I so rarely use the humiliate rival Costas Belli that I don't actually really know, like, what the parameters are, but... Makes sense. Age of Discovery ending in a few months. I could... Honestly, like, I always forget to start my golden era until it's, like, way too late in the game. Honestly, something to be... I, I know that the sort of, like, ideal time to do it is uh, mid-game. You know, once you can start getting absolutism and so on and so forth, but... Yeah, I guess particularly because it gives you absolute... Or it just gives you ma plus five maximum absolutism, so it's not that big of a deal, but... It's also just hard to expand at this point in the game, as everyone knows, because of aggressive expansion, so. Not too much added by starting a Golden Age right now. I'm gonna... yeah, I guess I'll just help France siege here. I would, uh, weakening the Emperor is nice because then I can declare war on some dudes. Uh, am I going to release Mazovia? No. Mm. No, because I took three of the four Mazovian provinces, so no point. England is over. They are, I don't like this alliance with Portugal, but I... How is England a distant war for France? What? Oh no, I was clicking on someone else. Okay, yeah, as, as soon as uh, this war is over, I can rope France into declaring war with me. What's going on? Just an ability. Well, the higher developed colonies thing is sort of pointless now, but might as well just in case I somehow get a colony in 22 months.
can also make my guys hunt pirates. Still don't, yeah, I guess I'll do it in Lubeck. So again, that's another thing, like I never engage with the whole privateering thing in any way, like hunting, defending from it, or in, or like, you know, practicing it. Lubeckian peasants are helping unsiege in my territory, which is perfect. Got a new heir whose name is Hans, who's not awful, but he's not very good. Unfortunately. Oh, the war's over. Okay. I got anything? No. Alright, I'm going to move my troops now. Yeah, your hunting pirates is, is over. Uh, I'm going to... Where are my soldiers? Here we go. All of my troops in England, yes. I'm trying not to get stack wiped by England this time. Okay, I could finish out quantity, or I could save for, I'm gonna save for military technology 10, even though finishing out quantity is highly tempting. France give me territory there? Why did Nassau just ask me for uh, imperial territory again? Pretty funny if they did. But I don't think they did. Unless... Lubeck didn't have this before, but I, I when I read the peace deal, unless I got the peace deal in something, unless I got it in like the, the not the main peace deal, but like one of those other ones on the side. Okay. Let's move the troops. Keep moving the troops. My naval attrition. Do love high naval attrition. I have not upgraded. I feel like I haven't upgraded my ships in this entire game. Okay, I should probably get diplomatic technology nine so I can upgrade my ships, which will then allow me to counter the English navy at least a little better. I do have more ships than they do. Ooh, the court of Louis the Thirteenth. Ever since oh Fran oh my god, I could become French. What the hell? Uh. Why? What if I could form France as Denmark? No, I'm not going to form France, thank you. Or become French, regardless. Hungary's still waiting for that. Death in the family, baby. Clergy wants a cathedral in Königsberg, which I'm happy to provide because it gets me a free development. I mean, a church. Well, they all they would also accept a cathedral, but we are centuries away from having invented the cathedral. 
supposedly. That's so fifteen eighteen. Yeah, I am uh, far behind on. I feel like I'm not doing great on uh, monarch powers generally. Uh, my ruler is not exceptional. He's not awful, but. 422 is such a risky guy to uh, disinherit because it's like you could so easily get something worse. And 422 is not awful. Feels like it's just going really slowly. <clears throat> Age of Reformation. All right. The Huat Company. Blasphemy Act. Am I gonna become a tolerant? I feel I always go tolerant. Maybe I didn't go tolerant last game that I played. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be tolerant this game. Military doctrines and organization. Artillery cost, defensive stance, sustained discipline. But sustained discipline does not actually give you more, your army is more discipline. Mercenaries, amphibious, marines, naval professionalism. Morale of navies, not awful, honestly. I know that navies aren't particularly good in this game, but like I am just going to be playing a very naval game, and I'm going to do that. I wouldn't usually do that, but I'm going to do it. Screw it. Let's see what the colonies have to offer. A lot of motorcycles going by my apartment this evening. Oh yeah, I could also finish out Diplo. I, I, oh yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to that. <clears throat> I don't really. I, I honestly don't know exactly what counts as an unjustified demand. Like, if I declare, let's say I declare war on England, and I have, well, I guess I have all these different. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what counts as justified. Like, what does that mean? I have no idea. Also, France will not join my war, which is disturbing. I ask them to prepare for war. Prepare for war. Wait, because they're eighteen hundred dollars in debt. Oh my god. Spain could be a good future ally. Uh, I am going to adopt modern theocracy now. And I'm going to take exploration ideas. Even though I'm yeah, I need to I, I just need to focus, uh, Diplo power right now. Oh, whoops. I just upgraded my advisor, who's like total shit anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot Portugal's going to be on this war. They also have a large navy, presumably 26, yeah. Someone please deal with these Polish separatists.
Sweden. Take care of my sapodists. My sapodists. No one's doing it for me. Ugh. You bastards. Do it myself. We are... What, relations with Polotsk are moving so slowly. What the heck is going on here? Did it even go up? Huh. Feels like it's going really slowly. Well, that makes it easier. Upgrade my ships as soon as they're finished here. You are over force limit. The murder of Paul Lachmann, we're leader of the Royal Council Murder in broad daylight in Copenhagen. Your name is Lox. Surely you can swim. You will conduct the hold, can confiscate the holdings of Paul Loxmond and accuse him openly of treason. And now that he cannot defend himself, corruption, lose prestige, gain a lot of money, gain admin power, or we might, must find and punish his killers. Plus prestige, minus corruption, plus stability, plus diplomatic power. Yeah, we're doing that. We only get minus one. Corruption, but I'm going to debase my currency because maybe this will still make it worth it. I don't know. Probably not going to make my money back from that, but IDK. Well, I can't. I can if I lower my corruption rooting. Rooting outing. France, please. Why are you so bad? They're just such idiots. How do you get in that much freaking debt? I could still win this war. England declared war in Micmac. The problem would just be a hassle. I mean, Portugal is quite far away, so they wouldn't, like, I don't know. I don't know how much they would do. Can now upgrade military technology, which I will do. Schwarzreiters. Could also do such things as become the defender of the faith. No, I know that that puts me at risk, but could give me some uh, extra morale for the war. Speaking of it, let's look at intelligence. Rivals, England. England's troops are better than mine. Not like extremely, but they are better, unfortunately.
because my mic is probably picking up a lot of my mouse sounds, unfortunately. Mouse, that's mouse, not mouth. Uh, get out of here. Thank you. Okay. Upgrade all my ships. Not even that much money. Huh. <laughs> it's just the uh, the heavy ships. And presumably also these guys can be upgraded. To get a, see if I put my mic up here, does that, mic up here does reduce the uh, sounds a little bit, mouse bumping sounds. France still not going to come in. <clears throat> Which is, I don't know, quite torn. On the same dynasty, man. I mean, come on. Okay, well, I can start annexing Polotsk now, which is good. Portugal has announced me as their new rival. That's fine. The thing about going to war with England is that I can basically just sweep across their territory. No one can do anything about it. I mean, Portugal could bring over some troops, but I, the AI is never particularly good at that. Be so nice if I could get France in, man. Oh, Portugal has occupied and besieged provinces? They do. They still have a high likelihood of coming in. Particularly because we're rivals, but they're they do have a oh yeah. Oh. Wait, what? Ooh, Spain and Portugal are at war. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. All I have to do is wait for Spain to overwhelm Portugal. We get more corruption and higher tax. I, I just, I hate taking corruption, but I will take the higher tax. I mean, uh, yeah, well, the higher development. I haven't insulted anyone in a while. Who can I insult? Salt England, only Spain cares. Because if I salt the Ottomans, France and Spain care. Okay. Ottoman culture is something of an oxymoron, I should say. Just kidding. I could also probably annex Lubeck at some point. Oh, they had. They do have a lot of Casas Belli that I have not taken advantage of yet. So upgrade some centers of trade. Are there any? So I have a thousand. Are there any in? Yes, I could empty. I could upgrade my capital. Although, honestly, building buildings might be more worth it. And Lord knows if I know how trade. Lord, if I know how trade works. Yeah, hey, whatever happened to Hungary? Nope. Oh, they got another. Oh, Hungary is a female succession now. North American fur trade. Oh. Okay, I finished the mission. What mission is that, pray tell? Revoke the privileges. Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing, but... Rebellion will no longer raise any rebels when their land gets seized if their loyalty drops below zero. Okay, Danish absolutism. That is... 
Average state core province economy is less than fifty percent. Corruption is less than one percent. Have legitimacy at least hundred. That should not be that hard, as long as I can lower state legitimacy. Aha! Portugal will not come in, which means I strike now. Make it hot by striking. <coughs> I'm also going to call Mon in, man, just to, uh, excuse me, um, because it doesn't actually do anything and I just want to take their territory, so. Oh, fuck. What cost of spell do I use? Uh, I did conquest instead of fucking reconquest. But why can't I call Bohemia into this? Okay, I don't know, but sure. I did conquest instead of reconquest, which is a shame. Not that big of a deal because Scotland doesn't have that many cores on them. Luckily, this is like, you know, consequences are pretty minimal, but still. It's unfortunate. We'll have to be careful because England has not as many troops as I do, but uh, higher troop quality. Not like extremely, but not nothing either. ships over here to help yeah oh yeah and I could become defender of the faith too hmm Ottomans, the problem is the Ottomans, I just, I, I keep getting dragged into war against wars against the Ottomans, which is really not, oh, wow, they have so many troops, oh my god, I actually really should do that, because I don't want to get them, I don't want them to get too far into Europe, I want to, like, at least stop them to the best of my ability, Kujavi, Kujavi, Danzig, okay. And my generals are awful. Luckily, England's troops seem to be a wall, but. Scotland sieging man, which is nice. Okay, so I can finish influence ideas, or which I am going to do just to get it out of the way, and then beeline for exploration ideas. It takes troops so long to disembark. In, at least in the early game, it's it's just totally absurd. Like I like, what do they? How does it take two months? What does that even mean? In a non-abstract, sort of a non-video game abstracted sense. Really, just waiting around here. Also, it's still remarkable how good the AI is at getting into debt. Alright, 
Uh, I should really keep my troops. Ooh, wow, England has a lot of troops. Holy crap. Okay. I do have my vassals set on siege, although they are not... No one has shown up here yet to help me, which is sort of dismaying. Um, man. Fights dog. Okay, well, I'm just taking man. Trying to decide if I want to keep my guys. Okay, I really need a better thing, better dude than fort defense. Need a morale plus ten percent guy. Oh come on, just three advisors and they're all freaking. Uh, three, uh, level three guys. Is there a? Is there a clergy privilege that gives you morale? Is there a nobility privilege that gives you morale? Are there any privileges that gives you give you morale? Oh, strong duchies would have been good for me earlier. Ooh, diplomatic annexation cost. Do I have this anywhere? No. That's quite good. Disables the diplomatic reputation penalty. Wow. Yeah, I'm doing this. What the heck? Wish I'd done that before. Yeah, there does not seem to be. I really just. I need to low. I need to raise my troop morale. I can afford. I, I can afford a, a level three guy. I, I mean, I have this actually half price level three guy, but it's not. He's not. The national manpower modifier didn't help me at all. I need. I'm gonna get the full priced morale guy. East Frisia. I could just take East Frisia. Not worth it. Also, I don't really understand. I feel like pillaging a. 17 development capital should give me some development. Okay. What does the intelligence say my army quality is? Okay, it's high. Oh, it's much higher than England now, actually. Wow. Their discipline's higher than mine, but... Alright, I'm going to... England does not appear to have any forts in England. Other than London. I'm going to move on England itself. They supposedly have troops, but I don't know where those troops are. Famous last words, of course, they're going to like show up out of nowhere. Three, three. I guess my vassals are probably all sieging, and and allies are probably all sieging uh, the other war people. Okay, finished annexing Polotsk. Don't get the diplomatic penalty because of that amazing privilege that I just discovered. Already getting. What am I getting? What is? What, what are you guys converting? Orthodox provinces. I, I mean, it's kind of interesting because at this point in the game, I guess like in by the early 1500s, no provinces left in Lithuania might have been. No areas might have been. Well, I don't know. There probably still would have been some paganism. Like it's it's sort of weird that the game just kind of says everything is Orthodox. Or Catholic. I think there was still a lot. Of, at least in the early 1400s, there were still a lot of non-Christian religions being practiced. I mean, not by the state, at least, sort of, you know, out in the open, but... I think I fancy Misham 
be some English ships. Might uh, go siege. Where are their troops? What the hell? They're not even here. Unless they're in the fog of war in Ireland, they're just... Uh, strange. They could be in colonial regions, but... Like, I think not all of them would be there. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to finish out quantity ideas. Get that extra force limit size. I could also get a policy, guerrilla warfare. It's like mild bonuses. Some English ships. I want some English ships. One ship. Okay. What I get? Probably just a transport. The guy with. Do I not have any cannon? What the hell? No. Here. And uh, now I can get, oops, now that I have completed quantity, I can now spend my military power on getting a general. Are you here? I told you to go over here? Yes. Maybe I failed. Um, I want to see if I can get a general first. Hopefully have a siege pip, although honestly I probably wasted so much time. Nope. It's a total waste of time. Still haven't seen an English army. Okay. Can also get Brabant out. Build your territory? Yeah, one, one, one. Wow. But no, I won't do it. I just don't really like it. This guy being here literally does nothing. Oh, no, there's another... Uh, wow, okay. I forgot that I have two cannon regiments, not just one. Okay, you being here does nothing. I don't know. I don't understand why you would come over here. But I should probably follow them because. In case all the English are hiding in Ireland, which I wouldn't put past them, those wily bastards. They do not appear to be because most of England, or uh, not, three provinces, four provinces are being occupied by uh, particularists. Particularists. All Danish provinces, Catholic provinces owned by Denmark are more resistant to religious conversion for 20 years. Okay, the Timurids. Timmy has announced me as their rival. Well, wow. okay, so my ultimate goal is to vassalize England. Uh, in order to do so, I'm going to have to make them a lot smaller. 
So I am going to have to take their territory. Well, I don't know what territory that's going to be. Probably just like whatever works from a state perspective. Whatever gets me the m minimum uh, aggressive expansion. Could I release? Is there someone in Ireland who I could release who has like a bunch of provinces? Mm, not really. Oh yeah, but there are no English on here. <coughs> Who stole this war? Newfoundland. Sweden's here, not doing anything. <laughs> Bohemia, I'm not even sure they've moved their troops this entire war. Siege of Ulster is over, which means I can take this. Still not quite willing, but I'd like to not kill the rebels while I'm over here. So I'm actually going to put all my guys on defensive. I, it's possible the rebels have already been killed, but where are you going, Lubeck? Okay, well, apparently defensive does not stop them from charging into siege, I guess because this war is so obviously won already. No threats. Found the Church of England. Okay, so I could take them now. I would like to take money. Hopefully, Bohemia is not going to get a lot of my money because I have not, they have not done anything. Okay, I need diplomatic reputation plus two. Thank you. As soon as I finish sieging London where I lived, then this is over. Okay, I can do exploration ideas. Uh, yes. And confiscators. Amazing. Come on, baby, we're so close. I still have a lot of corruption. I'm just going to pay. I know that it makes the whole of me taking that one corruption in the first place nonsense, but I'm just going to pay it off. It's possible. Okay. Is now over. I could also humiliate them, which would probably be a better use of my. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Territory is not going to be. I mean, it's it's really not going to be hard to take English territory later. I could have them break their. Or no, they. I guess Portugal. They automatically their alliance with Portugal broke. Uh, okay. So I'm going to do this for minimum aggressive expansion, taking Ireland. I'm going to delete the fort there because it does nothing. Interesting. Oh, wow. This is super good for colonizing. Okay. I'm going to do that as soon as I've. finished my crapola over here.
No, I still have not built a marketplace in Danzig. Let's go ahead. And now I have to decide what to do with these troops. I should probably leave some here because of how much territory I just took. <coughs> I am going to move the rest back. And immediately I'm going to send off three dudes. Explorer. It's an explorer leading this navy. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so. Where the hell is this? Oh, shit. I'm not running a deficit. Uh, well, I have a lot of. losing a lot of money. Okay. I can't do colonial ambitions until I'm not losing money anymore. Doesn't that make you sad? I can mothball this fleet. Bible translated. I'm just, I just am not going to burn a priest for translating the Bible. Fine. I'm, I'm staying Catholic, but I'm not going to be an asshole. You know what I mean? Uh, explorer. Does this give me a free explorer? Only ambitions. Get an explorer. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so I should not. Do that even though we're wasting precious time here. Um, and I, this guy costs way too much money. I should just fire this guy right now. So that's, uh, it's the sunk cost fallacy. I already paid for this three level three freaking advisor, so sort of want to use him. Instead, I'm just losing money. I can lower my army maintenance, I guess, to save some money. <clears throat> Make my corruption go away. Should be the last month of corruption? Nope. One more month. Okay. Make it go away. I guess, you know what? I could just do this. I'm not running a deficit. All right. Should have done this in the beginning. I can get another mission. Discover the new world. Okay. Is within colonial range? I need to choose my native policy. I guess I'll summon a diet. Okay. Polotsk, Regent's Catholic, Brandenburg, blah, 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 Denmark, Lubeck. Hmm. I could get plus 50% trade power in Lubeck, probably. Doesn't do anything for me, though. Taking Brandenburg, province in the Mittelmark area. That would do, that gives me 50 admin power, but I'm just going to take the convert Polotsk. Mission. Okay, uh, I now have to choose my native policy. <clears throat> I am going to do native. I always do native coexistence policy because so I don't have to manage the colonies, but. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I like that also, like, you know, morally, philosophically. Trading is not. This doesn't have to be bad, but 
It's also sort of exploitative. I'm going to do a native coexistence policy because my goal is not, I don't necessarily need to have a huge empire. I just want to ex like extend far. Okay, this is all within range, which is, well, this is not, but a lot up here is England. England already has a lot up here, which is, uh, okay. I'm gonna colonize here, send colonist. I can also expel minorities. I don't know what a Balton minority is, but we're like Baltic. I could, <laughs> I could expel the Protestants. That's funny. No, I'm just gonna send a colonist. Although this should give me another colonist, yeah. Colonist is available as long as we do not get a colonist from an idea. The event colonization of the new world happens. Okay. <clears throat> what is Ahiarmut? Nascopy, Massachusetts? Ooh. Yes. I want Massachusetts. Can I put. Where is Massachusetts? I feel like it's mass, uh, oh, oh, Danish. Because there's, there is a Siberian frontier here. What? What is a Siberian frontier? Am I just like automatically colonizing this? I don't really understand. Is this going up? Is my question. No. And I can't send a col I'm confused about why I can't send a colonist there. Be it says it's a Siberian frontier, which doesn't mean anything to me. <clears throat> I can send a colonist here. Yeah, it's supposedly too far away, so I don't understand why Amos Keog is not too far away. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, now I'm going to have these guys explore. Explore Caribbean Sea. That's a little far away. But fair enough. Aha, Russia. Oopsie. Hmm. My screen just turned off. Weird. Oh yeah, I forgot about my Polotsky and additions over here. Okay, Massachusetts Massachusetts. Singular does appear to be going up in colonists. So I guess it's like it does, by Siberian colony, does it mean like that it just goes up automatically? As things do in Siberia in this game with Russia. Okay, does Pomerania have anything to give me? Reconquest, Casas Valley on Lubeck. Conquest, Casas Valley on Denmark. 
Brandenburg. So I could... I have a lot going... F like, okay, I guess I should do this war because this is sort of how I'm going to expand. But, oh, man. I have, like, people have claims on Brandenburg and everything. It's just this war is just kind of annoying. I still need to convert Polotsk. Oh, wow. I have guys in the Caribbean already. Okay. And they are not capable of doing anything else. <laughs> How are they getting supplies down there? Uh, I don't want to execute people. Uh, he's cruel and sure. Wow, my force limit is just much larger than it was the last time I looked. Okay, I think I'm going to fire my level 3 advisor now, just because I really don't need his services anymore. to love being Danish. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to hold off on doing this colonial idea because actually we're just getting a free one. I could just save the money instead for, I mean, the uh, power instead for the technology. And I'm going to start building more troops. Things are going quite well in our colonies. God, how do I still have corruption? Yes, root it all out. <laughs> Russia. No air. Forty years old. Seems like something to happen to you. Sort of biding our time here. Probably should be improving relations with like my own subjects. Just to prime them all for annexation.
Gold six. Eighteen six one twenty two. Oh. These guys do not have a large enough. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is. These guys have just been like. Having issues over here. Attritioning. Oh, come on. Who is this? Why is Scotland on top of me? Get the hell off me. Get off of my troops. They're just like following me around. Money situation used to be a lot better than it is now. I think that I am going to annex Pomerania as soon as. So. Actually, I was going to annex Scotland. That's really what I should do. Oh, they're fucking up my march. <coughs> Rats. Well, okay. Pomerania it is. I know that I'm going to be taking on more vassals in the future, so I want to cut down on the current ones that I have. Who are we insulting? Oh, the Ottomans again. <laughs> Cannot insult them again until later this year. Says by nineteenth. Okay. Denmark Ottomans is a word synonymous with manure. Oh my god! The Ottoman. Colonial range plus. Mm, yeah. Common to the faith. Mm, they gain aggressiveness and ferocity, but like we have a total coexistence policy with them, so it doesn't actually do anything for me. To me. Oh my god, I could get France in my war against Russia. Okay, I basically have to do it. Oh, but I was going to do the Brandenburg thing. Well, that's always going to be there. Russia basically has to happen now. Although, I should probably continue building up my troops. There seems to be no unrest in... Yeah, I'm going to raise my unrest in Ireland so I don't have to worry about this. Man as well. And then I'm going to move my guys back over here. Ooh, 
Alfonso Louis the Thirteenth. That is quite good. I naval attrition. Uh -oh. Lubeckian peasants. Huh. Hamburg is fighting the Lubeckian peasants and losing. Very close. Massachusetts, self-sustaining. All right. Where you go, Donnie? No colonists to send because there was no colonists there. Uh, so I'm about to go to war or do a big war against Russia. Why am I making this a state? No. Did not make this a state. It's going to be a colony. Uh, I am just waiting for my troops to get over here. Where are my ships? Yes. Uh, because I am going to do this big war against Russia, I gotta move all my troops over there as well. Russia is, this is like the time, because Russia, France would come in for some reason. <laughs> Distant war against a rival. Okay. I still actually... You know what? I have not been drilling at all this game, so my professionalism is quite low. I still have some room to go up in terms of troop counts because I'm uh, my force limit is pretty high. Um, so I might do that quickly. And then, what else am I doing? Cavalry, cavalry, no. Mm. Fuck you, nobles. Oops, we're not supposed to go to war with someone. Rats. And I suppose that they are going to need my armies because the Austrian are no. no. Yeah. the French. I will let my allies attack the enemies, but I'm not going to help them myself. I need to make some money. Famous last words because now they're just running over my territory. Where are my vassals? <sighs> Sigh. Guess they might need my help after all. And yet, here I am not providing it. Oh, here come some Austrians. Why? Why are you coming in here? <laughs> like, what? I know that I had no morale, but still. What a great crime for the boys to be trapped up here. 
Okay, well, I guess you have forced my hand. Mm, maybe not. Save myself from taking loans. Russia just got a lot larger. Can take military tech, which I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm behind on it, even though I haven't embraced colonialism, which is totally freaking crippling me. It's actually, weird that it's going this slowly. You're a bad guy. Am I at war with you, Augsburg? Yes. Wait, we're really not doing very well. Because where the hell is France? Like, literally, where are their armies? They're just... Hmm. I guess they sort of counted on me to help them here. Which I suppose I will, because otherwise this war is just going to go on forever and cripple me. Really nice if my heir died in a uh, in a battle. That guy's auto siege just to like I don't really want to spend that much time on this war. Troops go. Oh, they went down here. Trieste. I had a friend from Trieste in my master's program. Excellent news. Cavalry cost down. reproduction please thank you I always I almost always take the uh, the events the options that give you development even if they uh, like I don't know have really bad malices I think how quickly this war turned started turning around as soon as I um, uh, started participating
I'm gonna play till the end of this war and then stop streaming. Remember to annex August. Or Pomerania, that is. All right, people, let's get this over with. Taking a loan, of course. Ooh. Someone in France died. Yep. Hoping they were going to be airless. Not that I could win a war against them right now. Uh, well, you know, I don't know. Interesting. I actually would. Sure, because I could bring Bohemia in. All right, it's over. Denmark loses core. Seed pregnancy to Lubeck. Lubeck changes. No, I'm not giving you territory. I don't know if I got anything from that war. Now will France join me against Russia? Yes, they will. Okay. Start annexing Pomerania. Thank you. Stop improving relations with subjects. I really wish this was not. Oh, you know what? I could I could uh, pay off Hungary with. Ask to prepare for war, and then they would probably join. Yeah, nice. Okay. So this is major advantage. My thing here is just take the easiest thing possible, which is Pascal, I guess. Yeah. I'm not going to do this war right now, but uh, I'm going to let it play out. Oh, I guess I got a lot of money from that war. Hmm. My money situation in general is not doing very well, but. Okay, Russia, war. Peskov. Yeah. Oh, and of course Peskov. I wish, I, I really wish, like at least with your rivals or some people have ordered you or something, it showed the fort thing even when you were at peace. Oh my god, why are there 16,000 Hungarians up here? I also need to switch my vassals away from aggressive, which is not going to be helpful too. I'm going to make them defensive. What I really want them to do is just sit up here in Karelia and defend like that part of Scandinavia so the Russians can't come in. And I know they're not going to do that. Like Norway is probably just going to keep their troops in Norway or something. But I would love... For that too, but can I get there? Ah, rats. Do I have force march yet? No. God, the provinces out here are so big that I can. Era Hans becomes Polish. Hmm. Okay. Hungary got got. What does my intelligence say about army quality comparison? Uh, Russia's a little better than me, unfortunately. At least in terms of, yeah, in terms of uh, morale and discipline, unfortunately. 
I'm gonna switch from this maintenance guy to the discipline advisor, at least so I have I'm not like too far behind him. Okay, finish through the blue. Oh, I'm not doing that. Whoa, man. I'm not going to I'm gonna hold out to try to get money from this war and then buy uh call it, you know buy the colonialism spread thing so why why that's just so annoying so why do i have these territories done oh because this is palatsk condoteria from spain 301 per month it's a lot of troops 50 Four ducats up. Hmm. Did they control them or I control them? Yeah, that could be helpful. Might as well. If only just because Russia's like the territory is so big, might as well have some extra troops to look <laughs> how like look like the Russian name just went crooked. Might as well have some extra troops to help carpet siege. Really hoping that I beat Russia to this siege, even though it's looking highly unlikely. Because I want to go up and stop them from finishing the siege of Wu. You know what? I'm going to send my guys down here because that's a lot of Russian troops all of a sudden. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of Russians came out of nowhere all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Allow attach here, and you're already allowing attach there. No attach there. Can I catch you? Ah, oh, so close. Okay, we're we're beating them. Oh, France. Okay, France just got up there by themselves. Incredible. See, the Moscow's over. France just came through. Mm. Oh, oops. Air treat. Yes. Why? Going all the way up there, what the hell? I right clicked on Moscow and it just like took me all the way back to Revel. Not like it literally did. Literally. Russia does not seem to have had any negative and oh I get the blessed ruler thing I guess I had not had that just now now my morale is better than theirs and my discipline is the same which is good the new uh, so, well, I don't know how new it is actually I just only discovered it somewhat recently uh, manage autonomous sieging feature is so good for wars against Russia okay, I also do not want people attaching to me right now even though that would be the safest Oh yeah, these guys can be exp no, they still cannot be exploring. Oh yeah, because I like have so much knowledge already. I don't really understand how I got all of that. Maybe because I took a 
Oops. Um, guy? Because I have Scotland or something? I don't know. Wait, do any of my vassals have exploration ideas? No. Hinterpommern and Vorpommern. I haven't looked at my missions for a while, but I feel like I should be getting some. Expand the sound toll, Novgorod, Norway, Northern England. Oh, I need to build something for this expand the sound toll. Interesting. Okay. What is this? 6,000 guys. Oh, those are probably <coughs> um, Pomeranian guys. Ottomans, the card war on Timmy. It wars at 73, 232. Well. To me, has a lot of allies, though. Hmm. Can I? No. How do I get over there? Here? What? Oh, yeah. I guess there are too many forts can't get over there. Those guys are going. Oh, up! Oh, I guess they're going around. Peace. So, I should really be doing this because I want to be, well, this is all out of range, rats. Well, actually, not by that much. And if I take this, if I take the next diplomatic uh, tech, then it will not be out of range. So, I'm just going to wait for this war with Russia to be over. also going to take this province because I'm going to release can I have one of your vassals? Um, I'm going to release Novgorod Danish vassal <laughs> certainly can't vassalize Russia Sweden have Claims or accords or something on this territory? Claim, okay. So he does a claim on this province, okay. You have a claim on this province, yes. You don't have a claim on White Corellia. No, you do. You don't have a claim on this, whatever this is, regular Corellia. Which is weird, but I'll give it to you anyway.
I'm not really sure what I'm gonna take from Russia here. I could take, I could, oh yeah, well, okay. The money thing, humiliation. Problem is I should really take territory because this is just a good opportunity. I don't want to take too much territory that is from Novgorod, though. Sort of a waste. <laughs> I could take it. Just go go all the way to Moscow. My God. How much war score, though? I think less. Uh, how much war score would this be? Wow. Moscow would be a lot of. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of money. Wow. Let's shoot for that. Okay. Basically, I'm trying to cripple Russia right now while I have the chance because we got them at a weak point. Ulster, I do not want to build a castle in Ulster. Holstein, I'll build a rocket place there. <clears throat> I want to take a lot of money from Russia so that I can afford to adopt colonialism. Uh, what's it called? Institution. And I should really be sieging what is going on here. And then I'm going to start moving eastward by sea, if not by land. Zone is over. Is Georgia, what is the deal with Georgia? Are they? A, yeah, they're a vessel. Vessel. becoming quite costly. No surprise. Where are you going? Lithuania has embraced colonialism before I have, even though I have colonialism. I mean, I have colonies. I enjoy colonialism in the most literal sense. Time for Pomeranian separatists. Getting close to the piece, and I think I'm going to take it. I'm not going to. Mm, am I going to push for 100? Taking a crap load of money, some territory. But yeah, I also want Sweden to have this territory. And we are quite close. Okay, well, maybe I could take a little more. I mean, yeah, Russia's fallen so quickly here. I don't know. I am also hemorrhaging dudes. Okay, I'm just going to take this ludicrous amount of money. How much of that am I actually going to get? A thousand. Okay, that's good. Okay, order of operations here. Adopt the institution of colonialism. Get the new techs. Move a colonist to uh, where's the farthest away that I can send? Gold Coast. Core of these provinces. 
Hired Condottieri while at peace. What? Uh, cancel Condottieri. I thought they just canceled automatically, but I guess not. Mm, I got ally. Oh, man. I could be so close to allying Spain. Should be. Problem is I need to keep France for now because I need to be able to claim their throne. Well, I said I wasn't going to play through that whole war, but then I did. France, Milan. Why do you even need my help for this, man? Jesus. Oh, yeah. Uh, colony. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <clears throat> Minorities flock to Amoskeag. That's fine. <laughs> oh, the reformed are fleeing there. Okay. Wait, 400 population there, but <laughs> they only have, they already have 979. So like, where's that population actually going to go? Now I can, hmm, doesn't actually do anything. I can take this Colonial Ventures idea, which gives me a colonist, but I already have a free colonist from this. Uh, da, 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 colonize, da, discover the new world thing, and it goes away if I take an idea with a colonist. So in, until I can get the second idea immediately, there's no point in taking the first one. Well, that will be quite soon. Bohemia, I'm ashamed of something that happened to you. Okay, now I can do this. I don't know where my second colonist is. It. Heir to the throne, three, two, one. You know, no thanks. You're fired. Okay, explore ready. South Atlantic, yes. And what else was I? Oh, why you people all stop here? What the heck? I was about to do something there too and I totally forgot what it was. Oh yeah, uh, save some money, make some guys. I don't remember. I truly do not know if Sweden and Norway get annexed automatically. I 
Uh, so I, I, I guess I just do have to do it manually because it loses the annex subjects modifier if present. Although, I think I already have that thing that gets rid of that. Okay, well, I'm going to annex Norway as an experiment because they're smaller. I also want to start drilling. I have not been doing that in this game. Council of Trent. Uh oh. Religious League War. Is there an achievement? Religious League War. I feel like there is an achievement for this. League. Religious. No. War. I thought there was a achievement, something to do with the religious war, but uh, embrace the Counter Reformation. Too on the nose, methinks. End of this year, I'm, I'm stopping. Oh, I'm supposed to build a marketplace in Holstein. I forgot about that. Some event, some like thing just happened to me. And I don't know what it was. I wasn't really paying attention. Tax income boost, equal crowns. All right, I'm gonna integrate Norway. Why, well, I, I, I'm just gonna Google it. While I am integrating them. Kalmar, mm, Denmark, U4, integrate Sweden.
it suggests Google suggested there's some sort of uh, both supply depots. Okay. Um, way to yes. What am I saying here? Why is my keyboard not working? Uh-oh. Google suggested there is a way to integrate them manually. <clears throat> but that does not just, just does not appear to be the case. So I am just going to do it. I mean, did I say manually? I meant automatically, but I'm just going to do it manually. Yeah. Yeah. Did I just switch my keyboard to German again? No. Denmark. What the frick is going on here? Oh, there's somebody, some button being pressed automatically by my camera. What? No refuse to accept this. What the heck is going on here, man? some glitches here so it seems like it might be time to quit Christian 566 look at that holy crap disinherited that like 211 guy but Oh yeah, I have to take a side at the Council of Trent. Did I miss it? I think I might have missed it. Or is that a papacy thing? Oh yeah, okay. Secret con no. Okay. Oh, conciliatory versus harsh. What does this do? Conciliatory. I'm gonna do conciliatory. I don't know what taking a stance at the Council of Trent does. Missionaries unable to convert province. Okay. Well, you made my missionaries weaker. Oh my god, what are two forts up here? I don't even really want one fort up here, to be quite honest with you. Alright, stopping day one of 1945. Suppose that I should deal with these guys up here. Growth of cattle trade. More money has never harmed anyone, I guess. I would not be trading cattle, but money on its own is good.
Oh yeah, I was supposed to uh, release these guys. Novgorod. Right. Well, they have Luki as well, which is interesting. Oh my god. One Innovativeness and lose 20 Prestige. Yeah, I'll do it. Also, I love how I get Prestige for transferring maps to Norway. I mean, they're my, they're my junior partner. Lund has a Manufactory, Malice Seat. And, ooh, this would be good. Colonize have a colonial subject. Fully colonize any province in the Eastern Main area. Yeah, that'll be good. Settler chance, everything. Oh! France and England. Uh oh. Mm. I will accept. I just uh, want to. Help my Scottish brethren a little bit. Oh, fuck! I, d I failed to accept! Shit. Wow, I didn't realize it was going to go that quickly. Oops. Well, I can declare war in England now on my own. Oh, do you? Sorry, France. going to improve relations with them just so I don't lose the relationship just so I can become allies with uh, allies with them again once the uh, our little spat ends Said I was gonna st stop after uh, at the beginning of 1450, uh, 1445, and I did not. So stop at the end of this year, beginning of the next year. And I will now declare war on England. Don't know what Casas Belli I freaking chose again, but forgetting to do something about that. Yikes, administrative problems. Improved conditions, yes, give me more development. God, this game seems like it's moving really fast all of a sudden. is here. Not killing natives.
Hungary guy died. What's Bohemia doing over here? Still got a Yagyalan. All right, I'm just gonna charge right in. See who has the better army between me and Eng me and the English. Guess we got our answer. Reasonably close, but. Yeah, my allies are showing up as well, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot more of this. Who, who's leading this? Yes, and Scotland got the Siege of London. That's so clutch. <laughs> France has like a gazillion armies around here, and yet. They're just sitting there. Where are you going? I don't understand where France is going. With their troops. Uh, money or admin power? I'll take power, even though money is probably better at this point. I don't really need powers, but whatever. Portugal is here? No. Why is Portugal coming in? Portugal's allies with France now. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Change of the guard. Alright, I am going to stop now. Thank you very much for watching, and I uh, hope to be back soon.